I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. Impressive, aren't they? You don't see anything like this outside of NCR territory, that's for sure. We get the water, clean water, pumped in from Lake Mead. If you follow the big pipes, they'll take you all the way to the lake. A lot of the crops grown here support the various NCR camps in the region. McCarran, Golf, and Forlorn Hope, to name a few. We can't have wastelanders popping in here for a free meal. So my squad and I are assigned to keep things from going to hell. Carry on. Honored to speak with you, sir. Anders showed up here not too long ago. I'm told you're the one who got him out of the vault. Can't tell you how relieved I am. Sending him on that mission was a mistake. That's probably true, but I wonder if I should have taken a different strategy entirely. Although my options were certainly limited with most of our forces tied up garrisoning this place. Regardless, what you did for Anders isn't something he or any of us around here take lightly. We're all glad to have him back. Thank you. Unbelievable. That man has given us so much grief since we set up here. This may be a major turning point for us. I can't tell you how many times we thought we'd taken him out, only to have him show up again later, taking more heads off of fallen troopers. This is for the bounty. And this is from a pool me and a lot of the soldiers around the base had going. You may not be in CR, but hey, it's only fair. Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. If anything, now we're trying to secure, and in the meantime, everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first, but our tomb, and we're holding, calm as, bye. Yes, what is it? You're back. I don't know him very well myself. Colonel Shu would really be the... 
Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. Colonel Shu sent him out. Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Word around the base is he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Yep. Maze is doing well in this soil. like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. 
Never mind that I already been living here for years. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch. What are you doing here? Get out before I... Whatever you say, stranger. Go snoop somewhere else and get the fuck out of my house. Right now. Are you deaf? I don't give a damn about what you want. Just get out of here. Get lost. She's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? The name's Hostetler. Don Hostetler. Can I help you with something? I already told you I'm Don Hostetler. You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. Like I said, talk to Alice McLafferty. She's in charge here. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. I'll see you around. The fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. The bigger issue is payment. To supply the camp with meat will cause some serious caps. Okay, just... Maybe. What do you want to know? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland ha Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. 
need more the bigger okay hey there you the bigger issue is payment That should work. We'll do a weighted exchange based on the going value of meat and vegetables. Water is invaluable in this dusty hole. Let McCarran know they should expect the first shipment in a week or so. Can do. believe that the fiends are gone when they stop their raiding and pillaging. Uh-huh. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Certainly. What would you like to know? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Well, the gunrunners continued to dominate the weapons market, and the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. Normally, I oversee company operations at the hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. It's been a pleasure. What's up? NCR Rangers deserve all my praise. Lafferty's been right. McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got razed to the ground.
another one come in from the waist. The like only rule in Freeside is, is don't mess with the canes. Going to the Wrangler tonight? Where else? This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm this man's prices are steep. The I others. hear he... You want to travel through Freeside with ease, you hire a king. We're everywhere, and no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Freeside's a little dangerous for people traveling alone or in small groups. You go without a guard, you're rolling the dice. You know? You must be new. Your tune will change, trust me. It's worth it. Around. Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. So what do you say? Want some? I have my little helpers out and about, always looking for fresh things to add to the stew pot. You may have seen them around somewhere yourself. Now deny your hunger no longer. You'll be back. Stay alert. Howdy. I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred, and the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish, are especially exciting to explore. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? What do you have in mind? Good, bad. The guy with the gun makes the rules. Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. And I may have answered. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back... He came back strong and killed a lot of people. I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, 
They're just naive. Warms their heart. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one. But she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? Yep. Medicine's running low again. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon energy technology. I'd like to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity, all of humanity, unlike the Brotherhood. First, I'm going to pull off whatever log data I can. Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Shouldn't be more than a few days' work. The Brotherhood is all about keeping technology to themselves and using what they find to protect themselves. They are isolationist and belligerent. I have no doubt that they plan to use the data for weapons research. There are plenty of people here to talk to you about us and our mission. Let's get to brass tacks and talk about that robot. Thank you. I'll get it back to you as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. Evening. I hear you've done some good things for the f Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? See you around. Followers. Hey. There are so many refugees to care for. Hey, I hear you've done some good things for the followers. Couldn't get enough of talking to me. Th good. I'd hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Aw, you really know how to make... Fine by me. Mercy killing is expected of NCR snipers. The Legion likes to torture their prisoners within sight of NCR positions. We get called on to end it. I've had my share. Some of them, you think. Maybe you could have gotten them out. Maybe it's not the Legion that got them killed. Maybe it's your orders and you following them. I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. We won. Look. We've done some traveling together, but we're not exactly comrades in arms. I'm not ready to swap war stories. Maybe some other time. He was a good spotter. Yeah, we were. When Carla went missing, he was the first person I told. 
He tried to hide it, but I could tell right away. He was glad. Sure. Give me a rifle and a clear line of sight, and I'll start picking them off before they've even seen me. Didn't have much hand-to-hand -hand training, so our chances are better if you keep the enemy out of my face. I'm trained as a spotter, too. If you're looking through a scope, I can find your targets for you. Or... No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. I don't see what this helps. She's dead. <sighs> All right. She... I tracked her down. Southeast, near the river. They were selling her. Saw it through my scope. Whole place swarming with legion, hundreds of them. Bidding for things no man has a right to. I just had my rifle with me. Just me against all of them. So I took the shot. There was never any saving her. They'd have taken her where I couldn't follow. What I did, that was the only rescue. All this was only ever gonna play out one way. It still is. I don't have any say. All I can do is wait for it to be done with me. It was gonna be something. If I'd never met Carla, it would have been something else. I should have never gotten close to her. I've got bad things coming to me. You better keep your distance too. Because fair is fair. Better that you don't. If that's what you think. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? Good. I would hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Should have brought something to read. Aw, just when the standing around was getting... Should have brought something to read. Aw, just when the standing... What's up? Am I punching too much? I get... My recommendation? More punching. You mean like this melee weapon right here in my hand at this very second? Yep. Yeah. Step into my office.
I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. I want a dress. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know, but still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Can I make it up? I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Yeah, I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You wanna build something? Talk to me and we can do it right there on the spot. Work bitches are from novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a brotherhood trick or two. He was dead when I got there. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? <laughs> Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people, even if it's from themselves. It's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, treat all our practices with the same sacredness. Ah, the codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue though and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push. Other weapons, ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Let's.
You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Does jumping at them with my fists count as... If you can find Keely and Yes? Something else? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? All right, I'll take you at your word. Williams didn't say anything at all. You just came to this conclusion on your own. No. You aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. I'd have to consult my records. Eight? Ten? Your point is what? I have no evidence that they're dead. A thousand things could have happened between here and the vault. They could have changed their minds and walked away. I wouldn't be much of a scientist if I leapt to conclusions without proof. All right. I'll admit that it's been difficult to find anyone willing to enter the vault. And I'd rather get the data sooner than later. You have a deal. I'll double your reward if you bring me the data. But this is as high as my budget will allow. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. Evening.
There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios 1. Yes? Something else? From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Yes. Goodbye. Welcome back. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Thank you. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure.
Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. Confiscate your weapons? Certainly not. Personal armament is the foundation of social trust and responsibility. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev... Uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. 
You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Watch your step, sister. You should get out of my face before you get yourself hurt. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there, or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay, just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Watch your step, sister. anything to say to I'd you keep outside. moving if I was you. Evening. I still can't believe how you ran through that artillery barrage. Get lost. Get lost. Idle thumbs tend to get blown off around here. Get... Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Ooh, 
got something good for me? Is it a dress? Yes! Finally! Hey there. Later. Looking sharp, Ramos. Hey yourself, kiddo. Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in the training the other day, and she fixed me right up. I don't think these repairs right will ever end. After the battle at Helios 1, some people were worried about the NCR coming after us. But this bunker is secure. Even though the patrol's no longer... Hello again, my friend! Later. Go out. We've got a backlog of devices that require investigation. Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. Yes, yes. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, tell them you're my representative and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Should have brought something to re- Aw, just when this- You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth, no real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now? People are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. Yeah, but only if you've got bodies to fill the suits. We don't take on new members. We're all descendants from the original Brotherhood. Something's gonna have to change, or the empty suits are gonna be all that's left of us. This better not be about the meaning of life. Sure, he's one of the hotel managers on the Strip. He comes up in the news now and then. Him and the other chairman run the tops. It's one of the nicer hotels. Or so I hear. Elder McNamara wouldn't shell out for a passport for me, so I've actually never been to the Strip. Why do people get so cheap when they get old? Well... Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. House gave the area around the Strip to the locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. 
I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. Ooh, do I get a prize if I answer right? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want, we defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So, it's not going to end well. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. My favorite subject. Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from... something. I don't remember what it was. Guess it seemed important at the time. Like what? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow. Watch him at work. He did. For years, he fought with the council. Taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb, but he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for? He didn't even care. They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him... <sighs> if he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Yeah, I miss him. I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... something else. I don't want to say delusional, but... I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it... I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. Let's. Have you had any luck finding... Well... Yes, can I help you? No, no idea. Sorry. Only a few people get to fa Yeah? Well, like just about everyone else. I don't know. I'm a little like both of them, I guess. 
If I had to choose, I really don't know which I'd pick. That's a question I've been asked a lot lately, since it's something I have to decide for myself soon. I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The Knights or the Scribes? Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, Gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by Knights. Knights also get to go out on patrols, scouting assignments, and support the Paladins in offensive operations. Being a Knight would mean getting to see more of the world, fight the Brotherhood's enemies, and possibly someday become a Paladin like my mother. Well... Okay. Bye. Venture outside. Yes, can I help you? Usually to trade for food. Try to keep Veronica out of trouble, would you? The principles of fusion are relatively simple. Harden is a tough man, but fair. I follow him into battle. before we resume normal patrols. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Then we have nothing further. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Later. After this, I have some weapons to repair. Hello. Mayor has done a pretty good job. Given Only the situation a few people get to venture outside, usually to trade for food. Oh, hey there. That under the lock, all normally under the lock, all other personnel are. Hey yourself, kiddo.
What do you want? And don't try anything funny. You speak truly, for it is unlikely that an outsider would know both the Elder's name and that passphrase. Very well. I've been observing the penal facility there in the distance for some time now, after having followed some rather disturbing rumors. The facility was run by the NCR for a time, but the prisoners overcame their guards and now use the prison as a base from which to conduct raids. What puzzles me is why these men have been allowed to run wild for so long unchecked. Why has the NCR not retaken this place? Give this to the Elder. My observations are all within. Perhaps he will have a better idea of what this situation portends.
The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. You like that? Retribution! Got something good for me? Is it a dress? Does jumping at them with my fist? Yes! Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress?
Hello? Don't take another step if you value your life. For what purpose do you approach me? Strange that the Elder should send an outsider, but I suppose he has his reasons. My observations have mostly focused on the small town to the south of here. It was cruelly attacked, its inhabitants slain nearly to the last. That such an act could occur so far west is nearly unthinkable. The NCR has forces in all directions, and an outpost scant miles west from here. That they have not responded to this violence shows either an unwillingness or inability to properly defend their borders, which is telling. I've collected such musings in this report. Please take it to the Elder. Security lamps with a monorail is a huge embarrassment. So, I heard you helped take over Nelson from the Legion. Glad to see someone making a difference around here instead of just complaining. Better now that all those Legion troops and Nelson are dead. The NCR might actually have a chance of kicking their asses after all. Good work. If you find any more, you know where to find me. I don't have any supplies. Thanks. Uh-huh. Approach slowly, stranger. If you have no business with me, then go. Then I am sworn to report. I've been dividing my time between the camps to the north and south of here. One belongs to the NCR, the other to a band of slavers known as Caesar's Legion. I was sure the NCR would quickly win, but that has not happened. Instead, the two sides maintained a long stalemate, and only after an extended duration did the NCR finally destroy its opponent. When they did, it appeared they did so with the help of fresh reinforcements. I do not believe they could have managed the feat without them. That savages such as these could last so long against the NCR is troubling. Please, take my findings to the Elder. He'll know what to make of this.
Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day, and she fixed me right up. Have you had any luck finding the scouts? Or did you have something to discuss? Good, let's take a look. Hmm. If I'm reading this right, it appears that the NCR's grip on this region is nowhere near as firm as I thought. I'll have to review these in detail, but these reports have given me much to think about. Thank you, Outsider. You've become someone I can count on, so I believe I can share something rather confidential with you. The device that creates the sandstorms above, that masks our comings and goings, was only intended to be used in case of emergencies. It was never meant to be used with any regularity, and the other systems here were not designed to accommodate such usage. In particular, the air filtration system simply cannot handle the quantity of sand and grit that it's been forced to cope with these last few years. As a result, the system is failing, albeit slowly. I'm told we have a scant few months before it shuts down completely. Should that happen, it will quickly become impossible to breathe here in the bunker. Already the air quality begins to slightly worsen. I would like you to find the components we need to fix this bunker's air filtration system. I cannot overstate the importance of this task. See Senior Knight Lorenzo for the details. He's the one who brought the matter to my attention, and the only other person who is aware of it. You look tired, Ibsen. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Veronica. Seems the destruction of the monorail didn't slow the NCR down much. How many troops do they have? Yeah? Yes, what is it? Bye. Hello, Outsider. How may I assist you? Good to see you again. What can I help you with? So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience, too? Great. You think you're the first person the Elders trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components, and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so... Their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are a differential pressure controller, a reverse pulse cleaner, and several HEPA cartridge filters. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vault's locations on your map. Best of luck to you. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Sure. Later. How may I assist you? Seems the destruction of the monorail didn't slow I can the hardly NCR down that lazy eye anymore. How many troops do they have?
Still looking.
nothing's done. She's got the authority. The only thing she can't do is change her own fate. Nothing says she can't change the selection process for future overseers. I say she can't. You shouldn't have toyed with her like that, Roy. We still have the majority. We don't vote for anything anymore. I'm not talking about voting. What then? You want to have a sit-in? A hunger strike? Not exactly. Maybe march into her office with torches and pitchforks? Yes. Come on. I mean it. What? Start a revolution? Laws don't outlast their governments. Roy, all we have to do is wait until someone from Justice Block gets picked for Overseer. Then we have them change the law back. There won't be any blocks after the new Overseer is picked tomorrow. Everyone's going to move on. By the time we've reformed, who knows if we'll still be in the majority. We can hold the block together. You don't know that. Besides, what if the computer picks you? What if it picks me? And your solution is to start shooting? Not if we don't have to. Look, we arm up. We go to the lower floors, take some strategic targets. Power, food, water. Just until she turns authority over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having the power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. Uh-oh. 